Hello, everyone. I'm Yi Shen, and today we are going to talk a little bit about infection prevention, especially during this time of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, last week, we discussed a little about the COVID-19 virus and the things that we should know about face masks. This week, we'll zoom in on sanitizer. Today, we have with us Dr. Pang Yi Jack, who will be sharing with us a little bit on this subject. Good to see you again, Doctor. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, Dr. Dr. Jack, could you um, tell us briefly about how alcohol-based sanitizers kill germs? So alcohol-based hand sanitizer are these little squeeze bottle heroes for whenever you go to public places. It is our friendly allies that fight against viruses, bacteria, and supposedly effective against all things. But what is in there? So from the name alcohol-based sanitizer, you know the main ingredient is alcohol. So the active ingredient is usually around 70% of alcohol, depending on the formulation. So ethanol, isopropanol, or n-propanol, these are the, post these are the uh, alcohol content that may uh, included inside the alcohol hand sanitizer. They are all pretty much work the same. And alcohol, what it does is that it dissolves the outer coating of the bacteria and viruses and basically exploding them. So alcohol is polar with water-loving hydroxyl groups. It likes to disrupt the protein and lipid molecules that made up, up, uh, made up both bacteria membranes and viral envelopes. So those all important outer coats, they will fall apart if they get in contact with alcohol. And this disease causing culprit literally just explode and spill their internal organs, their guts out all over the place, leaving them in no position to make anyone sick. So alcohol and water, alone does not make this gooey-like substance for our hand sanitizer. It's alcohol that does the germ murdering, but there are other stuff in your sanitizer as well. So the biggest one is glycerol. So what does glycerol do? It's, a chemically, it's chemically an alcohol, but it's not there to kill germs. It just brings on the gooeyness, you know, the jelly-like structure to make it more portable and easier to use. Otherwise, it would be like... Um, pouring vodka on your hand, you know, like if it's just alcohol and water, it will be like pouring vodka on your hand. And don't pour vodka on your hand or any alcohol, alcoholic drinks on your hand, okay? So alcohol is all you need to kill germs. It's not all that goes inside your hand sanitizer, but uh, there are other, but they are important to kill off the bacteria and germs. So ethanol and isopropanol are the main, are two of the main ingredients. And what can this alcohol does uh, do is that they can dry your skin. So glycerol actually help counteract that effect, but so do a host of other additive manufacturers might put inside to your hand sanitizer. So this often include tocopherol acetate, which is also known as vitamin E, and happens to be great for your skin, and a familiar stuff like uh, aloe vera, which helps to repair and moisturize your skin. Also, there will be some coloring and some fragrance to make it you know, smell better, look better, look more attractive. So these are the main ingredients that usually can be found in hand sanitizer. All right, thanks. Um, we've also heard about mutations and superbugs from antibacterial stuff, such as soaps. Um, could you shed some light in this area? Because um, can we sort of like, you know, overuse sanitizers and are there side effects if we over sanitize? <laughs> over sanitize, I think um, that, that's a valid concern with antibiotics with regards to superbug and mutation and resistance. These are more of a concern with antibiotics usage, which are chemical that actually target some specific point of, uh, of the bacterium's life cycle. But resistant isn't really a problem with alcohol-based hand sanitizer because bacteria can't develop resistance to having their protein and membranes broken down or we call it denatured by this alcohol. So uh, it is not something that you need to worry about. And there is no side effect if we over sanitize our, or overuse of hand sanitizer. All right, okay, that's um, interesting. Now, uh, how effective really are hand sanitizers? Well, um, we always see uh, the advertisement where they advertise like 99.99% kills germ, uh, but do this chemical goo really recipe like really kill 99.99% of germs? So to answer that is yes, but, there's a but, but it's in the lab. Those numbers are usually the result of lab testing. So what does it mean by lab testing? Meaning uh, the, the, the testing is conducted in an ideal situation in a, with an ideal environment, an ideal culture medium, the perfect temperature. The result does, does 
actually show 99.99% of uh, effectiveness in killing germs. But we know that in real life, it's not so simple because in real life, you don't get this perfect temperature, this perfect ideal environment and how you get contaminated. So in real life, it's a no. 99.99% doesn't actually happen in real life uh, because it's much messier in real life. Uh, the effectiveness of hand sanitizer actually varies based on how oily or dirty your hands are. Um, imagine if you're doing gardening without, without any gloves. So your hand, both your hand will be, will be stained with a lot of dirt, a lot of um, dirty stuff, you know. And imagine if you pour sanitizer onto your hand and you rub them around, will that actually remove all the dirt and all this dirty stuff from your hand? Not really, you'll be just rolling them around. So it depends on how dirty your hand is the moment when you are applying your hand sanitizer, as well as it, depend, it depends on the ingredient, the formulation, meaning to say the active ingredient of alcohol, how many percentage are inside this alcohol. So usually the recommended percentage of alcohol is 60 to 90%. So anything in between is actually effective, in, uh, effective enough to kill off any, any germs. And also, it also depends on what are the germs that we are talking about. So under ideal condition, ideally, some disease causing germs do get killed at that rate, 99.99%, but others, actually, they don't. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. That's, that's good to know. Um, does the way we sanitize our hand make a difference? Is there the correct way to sanitize our hands? Actually, there is a correct way to use the hand sanitizer. So first of all, you need to understand how much hand sanitizer is needed. So you need at least three mils of hand sanitizer to fully cover both your palm and the back, the dorsum of your hand. So what you need to do is form a cup hand like this and then palm adequate, palm adequate hand sanitizer into the cup hand. So what you need to do first is rub your hands palm to palm. So this is how you do it. Then subsequently, right palm on your left hand, all right, with your finger interlace, then start rubbing it. And subsequently, the other hand. Then the third one will be palm to palm, finger interlace, and start rubbing it. Then back to fingers to opposing, uh, opposing palms with finger interlock. So basically, you just do this to, to, clean, to clean your fingers in between the fingers. Then rotational rubbing of left arm claps in the right palm. So this is how you do it. And this is how you do it. And rotational rubbing backward and forward with claps fingers. This is how you do it. All right. Or right hand in the left palm and vice versa. All right. By the time you finish this step, your hand should be dry. Okay. If not, wait for it to dry off before start, you start to touch any of the surfaces. All right. So that is the proper way of using hand sanitizer. All right, that is good to know. Um, I, I think I might not have sanitized it the right way before. So thank you so much. Um, doctor, is there anything else you would like to add before you go off? So um, here I would like to take this chance to remind everybody as our COVID-19 cases are on the rise. And here I want to urge the public to register and get vaccinated in order for us to achieve herd immunity sooner. So none of the COVID-19 vaccines actually contain live virus, which can cause COVID-19. So do not worry, they do not contain any live virus and COVID-19 vaccine cannot make you sick with COVID-19. So I urge everybody to register and get vaccinated. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Get vaccinated, guys. Um, okay, thank you so much, doctor. And I'll see you again next week. All right, that's some good info from Dr. Jack and I hope you've learned a few things. Now, I'm going to get Miss Amelia to expand on the previous session. Hi, Miss Amelia. Good to see you again. Um, maybe you could do a brief introduction of yourself for those who are joining us for the first time today. Hi, once again, I'm Amelia, the sales manager of SM Healthcare. And just give me a few minutes to talk a bit about SM Healthcare. So SM Healthcare is a, a medical uh, healthcare solution provider. We have been around since 2009. And our core business is that we are actually vendors to hospital and medical center. We supply medical equipment, instruments, and disposable. Hence, we are actually registered with uh, the medical authority device, uh, yep, MDA. Nice, nice. All right. Um, earlier, Dr. Pang told us a little bit about sanitizers. Um, could you tell us a little bit more about sanitizers? Well, I think uh, Yishen, uh, most, of her, uh, most of us know the benefit of sanitizer, and especially after what Dr. Jack shared earlier. Uh, but I think the better question is that 
is my sanitizer that I mean, or uh, am I using the right sanitizer? Is my sanitizer effective? So in SM Healthcare, we have a, our very own sanitizer. It is Australia formulated. It has 76% of ethyl alcohol. And if you check the latest recommendation for a sanitizer to be effective, it has to be 70% and above. So our sanitizer is 76% ethyl alcohol. So we know that it is an effective sanitizer. And on top of that, you know, when you use alcohol in long run, sometimes it does cause some dryness. So we actually have a special formulation whereby we have added in vitamin E, we have added in aloe vera. So what it does is that in the long run, it doesn't disrupt your skin. It doesn't cause any kind of dryness. We try to reduce those side effects. And sometimes, especially children, they find it a bit challenging to use an insider. They say, mommy, it's a bit sticky. Even though ours are, is a gel base, if you try our sanitizer, you don't have those stickiness. You don't feel it. So it's, it's, it's comfortable. So when you use something that you like, the compliance is higher. So when the compliance is higher, then it's actually safer for you. So yeah, that's a little bit about SM sanitizer. And it comes in various sizes to, to meet your needs, basically. We have the pocket size. We have the 500 ml and now these days when we are using sanitizers so much, we even have the one liter. So you can actually uh, refill it pretty easy. Yeah. So that's a little bit about the sanitizer that we carry in SM. All right, that's great. Um, thank you. Uh, which would you say is your favorite size of sanitizer and why? A really tough question to answer, Yishen. Um, I think the one that I carry most often with me is of course my 50 ml. It's always in my handbag. Um, but again, it's depending where I am. It doesn't make sense to have that 50 ml if I'm at home or if, if I'm at the office. So again, um, the different sizes is to meet your need. But yeah, so I guess the 50 ml and the 500 ml is kind of my favorite, yeah. All right, all right. That's really, really cool. Um, all right. Um, thanks so much, Amelia. Is there anything else you'd like to add before you go off? Yep. Uh, for those if you, uh, of you who have any more questions, please do connect, on, uh, connect with us on social media. We are on Insta. We are on FB. Yeah, we have a group to support you to answer your question. And of course, if you'd like to purchase any of our sanitizer, it's on, in our SM Health eStore platform. All right. So yeah. Thank you, Yishen. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. All right. Thanks, Amelia. Stay safe, too, and I'll see you next time. All right, and that's all we have for today. Thanks for tuning in. If you've learned something today, make sure to share this with someone else who would benefit. Sharing is caring. Also, do check out the link in the description to find out more about all that's been shared earlier. We'll be having a couple more informative sessions like this in the upcoming weeks, so stay tuned. If you like this, let us know in the comments, and make sure to like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Finally, do take care, stay safe, and we encourage all of you guys to get vaccinated as soon as possible. Goodbye.